guys, day five um, here at Hog Island Campground. Great campground. The wind has now shifted to this way. Yesterday it was that way, so it was uh, obviously a bit better. But last night I got down to uh, 12 degrees. That ate up a bunch of our uh, propane. And I have five tank heaters on here. Three fresh water, one gray and one black. I kept the lowest uh, fresh water tank heater on and then the gray and the black I kept those heaters on the other two tanks were full and it's not gonna freeze overnight being a full tank but that ate up a lot of my battery so we got you with 90% battery this morning I woke up with 37% uh, battery I also have a battery heater so another heater I keep the batteries warm because they don't work under like 40 uh, and then our propane when we got you I think it was at about uh, 50 now it's at about 22 uh, percent so yeah especially with all this wind well in the wind shift last night uh, it definitely cools down the camper so keep that in mind if you are winter camping I do have two 30 pound tanks on here I still have a hundred percent of one tank and 20 percent of the the next tank today is Saturday so I'm going to look out for a propane refill on our route today because Sunday I believe everything will be closed. But even if we don't get propane filled today, we should be good for until Monday with the amount of propane we have left. Um, yeah, and if, you know, I have redundancies on everything. I have a generator in case the battery. So I did start the, the generator today. Uh, didn't want to, I wanted to, you know, get the whole trip without the generator but you know such is the case uh, that charged the batteries from 30 to 50 percent now and I ran there for about an hour um, and now it's a sunny day so we should get to about 90 90 to 100 percent just in our travels today as long as the sun stays out um, and it's also plugged into the car and now we're gonna be driving 160 miles today but yeah, if uh, I have redundancies, that's what I was saying. I have a generator, so I have an electric box heater as well. Um, in case we do run out of propane, uh, I can, uh, you know, start the generator and run that all night. I have gas back here, and then we can keep the interior warm. If it's really cold, we put in the slide, less surface area to warm up, uh, and cubic feet inside. So there's redundancies and everything, and if push comes to shove, I can just drain all the water out of the pipes in the RV and we can sleep in the car if it comes down to that. But with the redundancies, I don't see that ever being an issue. But anyways, this campsite uh, gets my thumbs up. They do have water here. We're going to fill up. Uh, we did run into a scenario where the, the drain, uh, the water drain pipes popped up. I don't know if it was cold or it was just it just popped up. And we had one of our pumps going and it drained 40 gallons of fresh water out so luckily you know have 120 gallons but there's water here so we're gonna fill up we do need to find a dump station which we'll find uh, at our next campsite I believe but yeah that's the update for the beginning of day five now on to some more adventures guys it's the end of day five and we're back where we left this morning after 160 miles and this carnage <laughs> anyways can't complain with this view the Sun just set but I'll fill you in tomorrow morning with everything we went through. Yes, 
so what happened yesterday is we're going all the way up to uh, Pictured Rock in Lake Superior from Lake uh, Michigan here and there's a whole bunch of campsites that say open all year obviously I'm not familiar with this area but uh, it's only really open if you have a snowmobile we got about uh, 10 miles to Lake Superior and then the roads was closed off only for snowmobiles and then I ended up following a campground sign um, that was on a dirt road dirt ice mud whatever and there was really no place to turn around for 40 miles we went 40 miles off-road uh, puddles ponds of one to two feet uh, go going deep into the sand and mud about six to ten inches I left the expedition on four-wheel low and pulled through it some of these ponds actually had like an inch or two of ice so we'd break through that um, and then Look, I have gas on the back here, but I was not really wanting to stop because the ground was so soft. So I just kept going for 40 miles. And um, we had about 11 miles left in the tank. I do have eight gallons there, so we would have been fine, but I really didn't want to stop in the soft ground. So anyways, let's take a look at the aftermath. So if you've seen some of my videos, I've removed the actual pump out station here. Uh, that's because I wanted my ground clearance higher. I'm pretty sure that would have got ripped off yesterday. You can see how muddy everything is. Um, <laughs> I didn't have my GoPro here, thank God, otherwise it would be covered. But uh, I just took my generator cover off because I charged up because last night was also a chilly night down to, I think, 20. And uh, yeah. People uh, make fun of me for having a windshine here, thinking I'll never use it. Already used it once on this trip. Thought I was gonna have to use it yesterday. But yeah, all in all, everything worked out perfectly here. I thought more things would be broken in the camper. Really, the only thing that is broken is where the TV mounts. The TV, the back of the TV cracked. The TV still works, but uh, I need to just glue that back. The TV still works. Um, and that's the only thing that we found that uh, broke and it was it was rough all the systems still work fridge still works furnace still works toilet still works nothing broke in the car but that was yesterday now today we're going to see where the adventure takes us um i do have the macerated dump out so i pulled up to a toilet here a long drop toilet and we able to pump out our black tank and gray tank into the toilet because I use a macerating system and it pumps instead of gravity fed so that's great we were able to dump out last night and then there's the gravity flow um, water that you saw and we just spent the last I don't know 45 minutes filling up the 120 gallons of water in here six gallons at a time and then I just got a six gallon uh, water bucket or container and from the kitchen window to the fill, I just siphon it down. And 45 minutes, we got 120 gallons back on. And now we're gonna hit the road. And Bashi, how are you doing? Do you wanna go home or do you wanna keep adventuring? He uh, gets very tired on these trips because he doesn't sleep in the car. But anyways, we're gonna hit the road, see what we can uh, figure out today. Until then, I'll see you then. We just uh, are in the parking lot of uh, Kitsha Ika Pikipi, <laughs> something like that. Uh, translation is Big Spring. Very crystal clue, blue water. Uh, it's a natural spring. You can see, I don't know, it must be like 80 feet down. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can actually see the spring bubbling up. So I'll put some clips in there now. Uh, we're just regrouping here. And we have no idea where we're staying tonight because all my plans of going up north to Lake Superior, I think, are canned. So, now to figure out where we're going. I have an idea, but just you wait. Let's get rolling. Well, 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 guys. 
guys, we are at our spot for the night. Let me just show you right here. Right there is Lake Michigan. This bash. And there we are. This is a primitive camping, free camping site. Um, not on Lake Superior. So today we made our way, which you've already seen or you haven't seen, I don't know. All the way up to Lake Superior without getting lost. We went to um, a big spring, then we went to go see a waterfall. Then everything in Lake Superior is still pretty much closed and there are some campgrounds that are open and you can see snowmobiles have gone in but it's so icy there that I don't want to risk sliding off and getting stuck in a ditch. So we turned around and we're headed, headed south so we could come to the shores of uh, Lake Michigan again because we knew there's not much sun. But look at this spot. There it is. As you can tell guys, I like the water. I'm a boater by heart. Um, that's why I don't summer RV. I went to RV because I take boating very seriously. But that being said, there's our spot. I set up the fire. My wife and kids are going to have some hot chocolate. I'm going to sip down a beer, watch the sunset. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this vlog. I don't know if it'll be one or two or 10 or 15 seems pretty long but I think so far it's been a successful trip some stresses but mostly successes I'm gonna close you guys for tonight there and I'll see you in the morning Whoa.